In this video, we're going to talk about lexical analysis, which is the process of taking raw textual character-based input and deriving some meaning from it in the context of some language or grammar. So our starting point for lexical analysis is raw character input. We think of this as a string, uh, but at the character level, right? So we know that we've got individual indices of some buffer. So let's write in some indices here, so on and so forth. And at say index zero, we've got the character one, right? So this would be the ASCII character one, the ASCII character space, the ASCII character plus, so on and so forth, right? So this, we consider this our raw textual input. And our goal is to try and break this input into what we call lexemes, which are units of meaningful character data. For example, we could consider these two digits together to be a single lexeme that is the number 10. We could consider the asterisk here to be a lexeme, which might be the multiplication operator. And our language might actually not have any meaningful application for keeping track of white space. So we, we might actually skip over the lexeme that would otherwise be white space and, and only focus on the actual bits of data that we care about for our problem. So in this case, we might have lexemes for the number one, the plus symbol, the number two, the multiplication symbol, and then uh, the number 10 as those two units together. So from lexemes, what we derive are tokens. and this is the process of lexical analysis, and this is what we're gonna be focused on today. So the question is, how do we take those lexemes and scan through them in some linear predictable order such that as we reach our lexemes, we can produce or emit things called tokens, right? And so these tokens that we're emitting start to give us the words or uh, you can think of this, yeah, as the words of the language that we're operating in, right? And we'll look later at how do we derive more semantic meaning from these words. Here, we're just trying to group meaningful characters together and derive what actual token is it or what is the um, type of data that we're working with in our uh, problem area. And so if the, in this case, if we were thinking about this in terms of a uh, simple arithmetic uh, expression evaluator, we would have numbers and operators, right? And so this plus would be a special case of an operator that is the addition operator. And the multiplication might also be an operator token, right? So we're gonna see that tokens start to give names to the type of token that we are uh, pulling out of a lexeme, as well as what is the data that we are deriving from it, right? And so. Uh, the data in this case, we can think of just at the character basis for now, on a character basis for now. We're not going to get into syntactical analysis in this lecture, but if we wanted to just preview where we're going from here, once we have these tokens, we need to actually derive meaning from these tokens and organize them in a way that makes sense logically. And so we tend to organize our, the syntax of some language in terms of a tree. And we'll spend a lot more time looking at this, but just as a preview, we'll notice that the, the, the correct derivation of this, if we wanted to think about what is the order in which we would apply these operations, well, because of precedence, right, we would hope that uh, the multiplication has to happen first, right? We don't know what to add one to until we perform this multiplication. So we would need to multiply two and 10 together first, and then we could add one to 20, right? And so that this, this tree structure doesn't necessarily follow the exact order that we saw these tokens in, right? Uh, we would need to have a little bit more sophistication and, and some machinery to figure out, well, what is the correct tree structure we might derive from an input of tokens? Right? So that's a little bit beyond what we're talking about today. Uh, so I'm gonna get back to talking about lexical analysis. Hopefully after today's lesson, what you'll come away with are the key concepts and terms to understand as we're thinking about this particular problem. And again, the, the, the problem we're focused on is if given a, an input stream of characters, how do we derive tokens or extract or emit tokens from that stream of characters? How do we actually specify rules that we can then go implement in 
a program such that we can say, hey, here are the, the rules that make up our lexemes of uh, this language. And how do we specify those rules such that we know that there's a program that could, could derive those lexemes and turn them into tokens? And given a specification, how do you actually approach implementing tokenization in, in code? So some key terms to just get out of the way as we're moving into this. First, as we've already mentioned, lexeme is one or more characters in a string that are grouped together and uh, adjacent to one another such that they have a single unit of meaning, meaning right? So they are in the string that we see in the, the second line here, 40 followed by a space followed by 20. There are two number lexemes there. And in, in me trying to read that string, I, I naturally parsed those out uh, just as a human, right? I should have said the character four followed by the character zero, followed by a space, followed by a two, followed by a zero. Uh, but it, as humans, we, we naturally know how to do this and we learn this as part of reading, right? How do we group related symbols together to uh, derive some meaning of that group of symbols? And as humans, we know knew to separate the double quotations that we see here, right, from, uh, that's a separate symbol that has a separate meaning from the, uh, the, the, the group of, of number digits that we see here, right? So we, we already have a natural intuition for this. And so the, what we're gonna learn today are some strategies for how to implement that same intuition in a programmatic sense. And what these are gonna make up, these lexemes are effectively the words of a language and we're moving towards being able to implement a computer language uh, in code. What we're gonna see is there are patterns, and these are textual patterns that can specify the rules of a lexeme. And we're gonna learn about the syntax of what you see on the following line, but a regular expression like, and then you see a one or a two or a four followed by some number of zeros. We don't know yet what that means or what that pattern is specifying, but that is uh, an example of a regular expression pattern. And what a regular expression gives us the ability to do is specify a textual pattern in which we can uh, know whether or not any given lexeme uh, satisfies that pattern and we can match against that pattern. And we'll look at more of this, uh, these types of patterns today. And as I mentioned before, the word token is what we're going to use as a, uh, a, a value in our programs that keeps track of the type of the token as well as any associated data. And today we're gonna to look at a very limited simple token. And as we move forward in the semester, we might uh, add additional data uh, properties to a given token. But for now, our token is gonna to be what type of token is it as well as uh, what are the range of characters that made up the lexeme of that token. 